Greetings, mere mortals! This is the Gamer of Darkness, here with episode 2 of my Modern Morrowind series. In the last episode, we created Claudius the Awesome, a warrior imperial trained in combat with a longsword. We gave Fargoth his ring and headed to Aril's trade house, where we stocked up on kite and armor and got a sweet new saber. In this episode, we'll be traveling the trail to Balmora. <laughs> so, uh, how do you like the new intro? Sorry if everything is a still a little bit off. Actually, um, the whole game is still running at slow motion, oh my goodness. Anyway, um, still trying to get things working better. I'm trying to work on my commentary as well, but I believe we should just hurry up and go on the road to Belmora, which is right over this way. And we have no experience at all with this character, so we're just going to go out there in the world. Actually, you know, I'm going to take these mushrooms because believe it or not these mushrooms are actually very useful once you get to Balmora especially if you're going to do the mages guild but they're also a good source of general income and there are lots of ways to do this in Morrowind it's an interesting economy it's kind of extremely broken but there's a lot more skill involved than with later iterations of the Elder Scrolls series so I think that's enough you can get as much as you want honestly um, Adam Asartus, yes. Um, we're probably going to save right here. Overwrite. Yeah, saving's really quick at the beginning of the game. It's going to get super slow by the later episodes. And we're going to try to assault Adam Asartus. Because these people are hostile. And you just want to rush in. The better gameplay mod is really at work here. Makes combat a breeze compared to actual Morrowind combat. It takes forever. Alright. Now we don't have any... Anything that can heal us. So... Let's see, that's an armor rating of 5, and our current boots give us an armor rating of 11. Never mind. We'll take the slave key. Uh, we can, you can dispose of corpses and stuff, but I mean, ugh, it's kind of a pain. Alright. With all the junk you have to deal with afterward. And there may be some powerful beings out beyond this point. So I think we're actually going to save Animasartus for later. Good thing I actually have a video record of this. So that I won't just forget about it now that it's on the map. <clears throat> Although I don't think it's important enough of a location to be marked on the map once you discover it. So. We'll continue along the trail here. This is also where the uh, faster running speed mod helps. Because, well, um, Mormon's also an extreme drag for like the first half of the game. It's really most of the game, considering how slow you go. It takes longer than the actual rest of the game. So I believe that we are on the right trail here. Took a little shortcut, went through Adam Asartus. And, well, you just go along these uh, fence posts here. You follow the trail, kill any rats in your way. And it's weird with rats taking multiple hits. I'm so used to my other character. Sorry about that, we had a quick jump cut. I've been trying to eliminate these recently. Alright, that rat's finally done. Um, there's way too much background noise, which is really not helping with this. I'm going to dispo dispose of this corpse so that it won't bug out the game later. And uh, you'll see about that in the late game. Um, it basically makes it unplayable with saves, um, especially on this crappy computer that can't run 2002 Morrowind properly, at least. The lowest settings. And performance mods, by the way. And that right there, my friends, is a stutter. Still going? Okay. So, we are going on the trail to Balmora, and this kind of negatively coincides with the main point I want to make with this episode. The theme is that I need to standardize things and get more professional, hence the opening intro and uh, the work I've been putting into my commentary to get a steadier, even tone whenever I'm speaking. Instead of, I noticed how in the first episode, especially in the first part, I spoke in long silences and short bursts. And hey, look at this. There's a little stop over here. I believe this is the back entrance to Bellagion. It's been a while since I played. This looks pretty familiar. This little hamlet. This little... 
Yeah, um, there's an inn over there. Yeah, this is definitely Collagiad. I remember this. So I remember this town. This is like my favorite town. The whole thing, except for maybe Caldera, but you know, Caldera's a little overrated. So there's advice. No secret. No advice. There's rumors. Oh. You're supposed to be able to ask the guards about. Gosh, I hope that doesn't come up in recording. Otherwise, that would ruin the whole thing. Well, you know, it probably did anyway. So, we're going to traipse along until we get to Balmora. But Pelagiot is a good stop, actually. So, maybe this could be On the Road to Balmora Part 1 or something. But there's actually some interesting stuff in this town. Plenty of nice side quests and stuff. But, uh, for now, I believe... We should just go to the general store, the trader here. The Bestian Ents. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Can this guy possibly tell me about Pelagia? Okay, this guy has more top. No, he can't tell me anything. Very strange, Pelagia, now it's opposite. I guess you have to hear somebody say Pelagia at first. It's, that's weird. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, let's go up to this model looking guy, and we're going to sell some stuff. Uh, I'm going to sell two of these Vimic Caprice. We basically want to keep one of each type. So we're going to sell four of these. Sell our own shoes. We can't wear shoes under boots, but we can wear clothes under generic armor. And I believe that's all that we need to sell. We can get four gold out of that. We can't really afford to buy anything here. So, we could get a room, we could rest up and heal, but I think it's honestly best to actually meet up with Caius Crusades and skip past that story crap, because you probably don't want to hear that anyway. And even if you are new to Morrowind, if you want to read up about the story, uh, well, read up about it, there's an option, or just watch another Let's Play. You know, this Let's Play is just me having fun and playing around with mods. This isn't so that you can be immersed in the story. Now see, getting to Pelagia, that actually didn't take like nearly as long. That would have taken like multiple episodes if I played this in original Morrowind, unmodded with speed mods. Because with speed mods, you could do this. You can just glide all over the place with the fastest setting here. It's actually like bearable. So yeah, Caldera's over that way. And Caldera's honestly a much more useful city. There's a lot more interesting things there. But Balmor is a great place to go to sell all of your junk and also to progress the story. And we do need to progress the story uh, mainly because it gives you gold and it gives you places to go, which is just about all you need in Morrowind. So we're going to make our way over to Balmor yet still. And oh, yes, yeah, this lady over here. We could do a side quest right here. Okay. Um. Most people have probably heard of this, but anybody who hasn't played Morrowind, this is an interesting quest here. Are you all mean? Yes. Um, begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. So, you think it's one thing, but oh no. Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos. Nelos Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me. Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? I'll try and find this man for love's sake. It's actually pretty easy, honestly. He's just hanging out at the inn in Pelagia. So, um... Yeah, um, good thing I stopped by Pelagia in here, because I believe there's a route you can take that just ignores it and goes straight to Balmora. I don't know if it's quicker, but... Yeah, I guess if you actually go back to Pelagia... Whoa, I'm all, all kinds of messed up here. If you actually go to Pelagia and... Then... Oh, we have, I'm in the same general direction. I had the right idea. So... 
man, all this uh, running is going to level up my athletics. So let's see what my athletics is. Uh, never mind. It's 4 out of 100 to the next level. <laughs> okay, so let's go this route. Everything is like a life or death battle in the beginning of the game. Even with a better combat mod. It doesn't make it easier. It just makes it, like, makes combat faster, honestly. Because original game more when combat is so freaking slow, you have no idea. So yeah, anytime there's a big lag spike like that, it's usually because we're switching region. We're loading a new area of the game. Oh yeah, here are the, the slave area. Slave thing. Um, now if we go directly east, we should show up at the back entrance to Pelagia. See, we're loading a new cell now, and that's why it buffers. And I hope it catches the intermediary period, intermediary period in recording. Let's kill this guy, because if it doesn't, well, we're screwed. Let's kill this freaking rat. Oh, I luckily leveled up to 46. Yeah, we got a great starting bonus to Longblade. It's already at 46. Oh, my other character, Kiyomi Takada, I remember her Longblade was like, um... It was actually like 90, 92 or something. Alteration was like 98. Super easy to grind whenever you pick, you uh, pick specific skills like that. And also in general, you just want to pick athletics for um, oblivion, honestly. But uh, acrobatics definitely, because if you just jump everywhere you would normally walk or run, then not only does it usually save time, but it also like it doesn't hinder you in any way while it's earning you skill bonuses. So uh, I'm gonna skim along this wall, and we will find ourselves back in Pelagion. Where we can enter the general trader? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, go to the inn. You'll find Nilos Onmar, what's his name, at the halfway tavern. And I believe this is him. No, he's a bit more dashing than that, isn't he? He's kind of chilling in the corner. Yeah, this guy. Okay, um, here's a glove. You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful, though, and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nellos. I must see her again. I won't forget this, friend. Alright, so, we're going back there anyway, since we're on our journey to Balmora, so no more slowdown. We're going straight there. And... I don't believe she gives us a gold reward, but she does indeed give us something. I don't know. She recommends a friend in Vivek, I believe. And I don't think I've actually ever progressed to that point in the story where that would be helpful, knowing that person. But it is interesting to know that, you know, we do have that opportunity in the future, having a good connection with that person's friend. And she may be important to a major plot. Who knows? So, she is right along this trail. We should see her any second now, right right there, as we saw her before. And she is right up here in the road. Um, one thing, one thing uh, I actually forgot about that I was supposed to talk about at the very beginning of the video was that uh, the thumbnails are changing, if you haven't noticed already, because uh, I don't like the design. I came up with a better one. It's a lot less weird eyeglass looking. So, found the bandits. Uh, here's the note. He gave you a letter to me. Wait, he gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful. Thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all of this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Emerset Braquez. Brax? I don't even know. And Telerun. I am Telerun. Okay. She's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. So yeah, this person's awesome. And so is her friend in Teleroon. So, to Balmora we go. I don't think Balmora is actually marked on the map here. So you can see there's Sedanine, there's Pelagion, takes up two squares. And this looks like a little alcove for a place. Yeah. What is this? Got some berries up front. Might want to take those. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, we really need to go to these places um, 
once you're about like level 10 or something or at least to something like level 5 where we can stand a chance in a fight when we have some good armor good weaponry because when you're going to stand a chance in a fight it's really fun to just go around and find random dungeons and just you know uh, clear them out There's vampires and some of them lots most of them are just filled with skeletons and uh, they have some interesting loot, but it is level based, so it depends on what level you go in there, just like in Oblivion. And uh, they don't reset like in Skyrim. Nothing resets in Morrowind. And just about everything is leveled to your character. So Molag War, Molokai, that way. Those places will be um, important later in the story. And uh, Ghost Gate will be interesting. Some fun stuff I have planned there. Anyway, the road to Balmora gets a little rocky here. There's a scrib. They're neutral. They won't attack you unless you attack them, but uh, they have some prize scrib jelly, although they can't paralyze you. Uh, let's dispose of corpse. He didn't get us anything. Also, by the way, if you click dispose corpse, then you can actually automatically take everything as you're doing that, and I think they should be separate buttons. Like, they are for normal containers, so why not? I mean, uh, Balmora is this way, as well as Ghostgate and Caldera. So I believe this road as told by the signs, it's actually more tailored to getting to about more. Um, ooh, I memorized it. Is that a Moon Moth Legion form? It says in the region down there what it is. So, this whole area that is loaded has like a pretty broad area, which even contains Moon Moth for it. And it centers around it. That's why if you skim around the borders of stuff, then you can actually uh, look at that. And if you notice, my unarmored skill went out, or went up, because... I'm not wearing a full suit of armor, you know, I think I'm missing, like, a pauldron or something. And also no helmet, that's pretty important. Um, there's a Dwemer Bridge. I believe if we cross this Dwemer Bridge, then we will be able to, uh, reach Balmora. But there's a pretty dangerous guy in there. So the ruins are at the top of it. I think we can just get by by passing over this way, because, yeah, we're about, like, half health here. We're 31 out of 50 at least. And that's not very good. This episode is going to be pretty long. Sorry about that. I'm trying to keep these about 15 minutes each. But, um, I want to try to get to Balmora as a uh, milestone. Have I been this way? No, I have not. I believe this is the way to Balmora. As my character has a lot of starting endurance, so uh, we have 160 max fatigue, which is excellent. So we're going to charge a power attack and backstab the scrib a couple times. Should be good. There's some of the scrib jelly. So we'll dispose of corpse and you can see just before it closes, it's added to the inventory. Uh, yeah, we're skimming around the edge here. Still in the West Gash region. I don't remember any of this terrain, so I think we strayed off the road. We can still see the borders here. All right. Uh, well, rat ambush. This time it came to me. Uh, if you hold the power attack for an absurdly long time, then it's absurdly more powerful. So there are multiple stages, unlike in Skyrim or something, when you just have two stages of regular and power attacks. You can harvest some more resources here. And Balmora should be nearby, maybe, who knows. Um, Balmora is this way, yes. Yeah, that looks about right, but we're going to have to stray just a bit. This bridge crosses the very river that leads into the city. So we are literally at the gates of Balmora. Yep, there it is. And we have rendered the city. Wait, we are stepping into the next area. And it has loaded. This is Balmora. We're going to leave that to the next episode. Until then, farewell, mere mortals. I'll see you in the destroyed future. Have a good one.